Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Frog King here, and I just played like a tiny second of this just to check it out. This is a Pico 8 game from Pixel Panda, if I'm not mistaken. It is a super cute, adorable frog, and pretty, like, I pretty much just got past this obstacle here. There's a little checkpoint. It seems like it's maybe just going to be a kind of single obstacle course here, but just going to be checking out a bunch of Pico 8 games tonight. Um, and this happened to be the first one that caught my eye, although, wait, it might be a little bit of a little mini exploration, uh, thing going on, too, although, as of right now, I don't have any abilities, just the ability to jump, but maybe, oh, oh, no, that's a great death sound effect, that's kind of, this is kind of tricky, you have no control over the height of your jump, uh, on, at this moment, or really, uh, these fl I keep thinking those flames are the checkpoints, but it's just, oh shit, at least I got that checkpoint, but the jump, like, whether you f barely tap it or whether you slam on it, you jump full height every time, oh shit, come on, all right, already getting, nice challenge, this, re the thing I love about these Pico 8 games, and I don't know exactly what retro aesthetic they're going for oh double jump it is gonna be a little metroidvania um heck yes um this is cool um but yeah they remind me of like the games that i used to play on my computer back in the day uh that would just like come on your computer like i think i mentioned when i was playing chimney presence uh not a pico 8 game but um there was like this game that uh i don't know like the aesthetic kind of reminded me of oh, come on Kind of reminded me of, like, Chip's Challenge, kind of, but it was a side-scroller, but you played as, like, a Santa Claus character, and I can't remember if you were, like, collecting presents or dropping them off. I can't, I can't remember exactly what your goal was in the game. Come on. Thank you. Double jump it up. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, it's a checkpoint. Gotta wait. Wait it out, wait it out. There we go. Nope. Yep. Cool, you can even use the double jump. Some like some games don't let you do the oh shit. Don't let you do the uh double jump as a uh eek. Oh yeah. If you're falling, like you have to do it out. Oh, fuck. You have to do it after you've already jumped. Oh, they're making some, these obstacles. Like you gotta go a pretty decent distance before you get a checkpoint, which is pretty cool. Come on, what did I do the same thing again, you idiot? keep whiffing that jump because the up button also doubles as a jump button so I keep when I try to like change directions at the last second I hit up I guess as I turn the d-pad around okay oh yeah checkpoint this game is really cool whoa okay oh I know some reason I didn't think I was gonna be able to double jump there. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on! Should have known that was coming. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no! That thing just slammed down on me. Gotta watch how high it goes up next time. Okay, so it's just gonna slam no matter what. Yeah, there you go. There you go, checkpoint, I'll take it. Ho oh, ho, precarious. Not for me. Oh shit. Um, oh no. I see though. And actually you can see it, I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, really solid level design so far and love the flames the torches on the wall is that it yes <laughs> Woohoo! nice little i bet you that one's fun to do like a little quick speed run of but uh yeah i'm gonna wrap it up there for this game but uh thanks for tuning in and take care and we'll catch you next time if you're watching on youtube check out the uh playlist for more videos and if you're watching on twitch i'm gonna keep playing some more but uh either way thanks for watching and take care